sides, Ooh. but who do you think is going to be able to act first or, you know, pull the trigger at an earlier stage? So, technically, Twisted Fate has the advantage in the mid lane because it's much easier with his mana pool and his spells to push through. You need to use your double with LeBlanc, which eats a lot of mana and a lot of your... In the front line, right, for XL. And the first ones to move is going to be Nukeduck and Markun making their way down bottom. Kaiser is flashless and level two and a gigantic minion wave. That's the flash engage, knock up onto Kazi. He goes down, first blood to Patrick and Excel. It's traded back by Kaiser. Teleport's coming in as Nukeduck takes a tower shot. The boomerang from Armut won't find a target. Nukeduck still got that flash available. One for one, but first blood to Patrick. Oh, that is very important that this trade- Scary that Draven was starting to feel. It hasn't absolutely blown out the water. That means that Humanoid plus Alyoya plus potentially... For now, every time Alyoya has tried to find something, he hasn't been able to. Good for him, though. For Mark Kuhn, it's the same exact thing. Absolutely is. Very big trade here in the top lane. Destiny as well as Teleport. Gold card will lock down Kryze. It's not used that ultimate just yet. Finally fires the trigger. That's a flash away from Kryze. Kaiser jumps into the fray. Locks down Markun. Defensive flash away. Mewtux trying to look for another back. The Crescent comes out. The flash from Advian, but there's no damage to follow up. That was a fantastic engage that nobody was... For XL, I think that Mad Lion's composition to me looks... Like it has a few more options, and right now Omit will try to hop away, manages to use the flash. The chase comes out. Mega Nar will just about pop. Not yet, as Markun will secure the kill. That's the second for XL. It should secure the tower as well. And it's, it's XL putting all of their eggs in the Patrick Draven basket. I don't think it's worth it if you get bot lane tower and then your mid lane falls because mid lane is just so important. And Nukta has to bend his flash right here because he walked in territory that wasn't his. And look at that. Mad can punish with the mid lane tower, which is so important. Getting vision away from a LeBlanc. That was haven't really connected yet. Now, they do still have kill lead and a minor gold lead. We're setting up for potential dragon engage. Kaiser. Has that ability, the ultimate available. We'll connect to the Zenith Blade. Solar Flare comes out, and Advian's trying to buy time. No ultimate just yet. He needs a few more seconds, and Markun will be taken out by Kazi. That's a flash away, and Patrick goes down as well. There's a reply back onto Kazi, though, but it is XL running for their lives. The Mad Lions have got so much damage, but cries in the back. He's trying to do what he can. Al Yoya stays alive a few seconds longer, and the rest of Mad Lions come to help out. This is a four on one, and the Mad Doctor can do nothing but run for his life. Every single lion is hunting, and that will be an ace for the Mad Lions. Yeah, and that was such a huge mistake, going for that. Draft. And then if you only have the Munda to deal with, you deal with him at the end with all your members. So you see that Excel are starting to slow the potential from Nuketak. Is this going to be negated that much more? It really is. Um, I love what Excel tried to do. You, you, you saw how much focus there was on Patrick. And I think even more impressively, Mad Lions were able to deal with it. Humanoid stays alive. Just long enough. No support just yet. Stays alive significantly longer than expected. Finally goes down to Markun, but he actually denies the kill. Goes down the bottling tower, gets solo XP, solo gold, solo CS, and the tower. The level of control that Mad Lions have had, um, the resiliency from the pressure, despite Kazi being pushed so far behind, he's the one with the bounty right now. Armut, Alioya, Kaiser, they're going to look for cries, or at least just pop down the hill. There we go. Missed that one that was picked up just a moment ago. And this will just allow Armour to continue to push. Mad Lions don't care about this Draven at all anymore. They're playing the map. They're playing the towers. They're going to pull even further ahead. Four towers to two and a 2,000 gold lead in what feels like the blink of an eye. Your uh, advantage there. Cries is taunting them. He's like, I'm here. He really is. They're Mad losing another tower mid lane. Again, Do the dragon, XL. Mad Lions just playing the map. Absolutely fantastic here. Even if XL pick up the dragon, they're still two to their name. Destiny is going to start to get channeled. Information is gathered. Dragon is picked up by XL that will buy some time. Kreis gets caught up by the Solar Flare. Needs to use the maximum dosage, and it does not matter. The rest of XL jump into Mad Lions, but they can't find the damage. They can't connect it to a single target, and Mad Lions pick up two kills. And I want you to look at how much damage Mark already have, too. They go down mid lane, they take your second uh, mid lane tower, and then they force you to make a decision, and XL split themselves up. And Destiny, again, so important and giving vision, showing that to Mad, making them take that step forward for the fight. The thing that feels so like frustrating here 
Is that Excel's from macro? They managed to keep Excel in one place, split them up. Meanwhile, they're pushing another lane. Armut has been on a side lane for almost the entirety of this game. Only comes in for clutch uh, Mega now. All any more kills to get any further behind. And it's not that Marcoon didn't try. He did. Yeah. But Kaiser and Kazi played it so well. Yeah, they really did. Kazi, one of the players that's been quite heavily discussed this summer. Kaiser's going to get jumped on, chunked to 50%. El Yoya will get burst down for now, right. but it's actually El. It's going to be Nuke Duck that is taken out. Kreis forced to use that ultimate. Now four members of Exile are running for their life. The burst damage from Alioya really outshining. Even that of Nuke Duck for now. The engage coming up from Kazi. That's a knockup onto Marcoon. Advian gets a multi-man. But where's the rest of the damage? Patrick forced to flash defensively. So is Armut. That's one more for Patrick. The shutdown is huge. But Kazi and Humanoid remain untouched. Four members of Exile. Can they continue the chase? Teleport is up for Kreis. Where are the wards? Nothing just yet. But that will just buy some Ooh. time as the whirling Snipe. death from Patrick picks up the second. And what did we mention? Champions. Yeah, I mean, look, they, they threw a lot of uh, punches and plays during the early game, during the laning phase. They didn't quite work out. Marcoon's going to use that ultimate to kick away Humanoid. Gets caught out by Kaiser. The rest of the Mad Lions make their way up. Marcoon is taking so much damage. Goes golden. So does El Yoya. Kazi's firing over the wall. Advian hops over as well. Nuketek is now trying to join the fray. Dashes forward with the Mimic, but it's Advian that is going down. Kazi flashes over the wall. The heal's used as well. Armut locks Marcoon against the wall as well. Now Kazi's in trouble. He's under threat. The stunts to chain CC forces Patrick back. He's not going to be able to find the damage just yet. And so many health bars are going low. The chunks, the crits, Humanoid not taken down just yet. The Hourglass avoids it for Patrick. He's used the flash already. They continue to chase forth. This could be the fight that decides the game. Patrick is still chasing. Draven can't find someone to hit. All of a sudden, Kaiser's running for his life, and Kaiser's trying to hit Cleaver after Cleaver. Finally, Kaiser goes down. But what a fight! Patrick just could not reach! Everyone's playing in that choke point, but very crucially, Patrick never ends up going down. He hits, 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 but he never dies. They keep their tank up, they keep uh, Patrick up onto the Draven, and they get a pretty free Baron, because Matt's health bars were so low that they had to actually back. So that was huge for XL. That choke point took... ...for more vision for the set of XL, because when the next Dragon comes up, they want to deny that Ocean Soul for Matt. They absolutely have to. Patrick, 3-1-4. 450 gold bounty, four items completed, and has the ability to siege. The Baron buff is still on, the engage is coming out. No one's going to pull the trigger just yet. That's the sixth tower secured. Vision on the bot side of the map, crucial. Two wards still available for Armut's Nah, but he doesn't have the bar yet. No, Nuketuck's coming in from the side again, looking for El Yoya. That's Chunk. Humanoid's going low as well. Multi-man route. Patrick holds on to the cleanse, and Armut now starts to stack the Nah bar. El Yoya's engaged, will force the flash away from Patrick. Edvius trying to buy some time. Patrick's looking for the kills, but it's Excel that get knocked against the wall. The cleanse finally comes out. A massive Nah forces Patrick to run for his life. Advian is down. The rest of Excel are being surrounded. Rounded and crushed, and with Patrick killed, it will be just Nuke Duck, Marcoon, and Christ trying to hold back the horde. The Mad Lions have got the damage, they found the targets, and they got through the support to take down Patrick. Finally, Christ will be the last man standing exactly as you talked about, Trouble. And it's so important. Excel had to play the front to back. They had to wait for Mad to engage them. And when Excel think they have the right to do that, they get instantly punished. Always so well played again for Kaiser. His re-engage right there was absolutely beautiful. And the way Humanoid found these gold cards into the game, you'll see they take the flash and the cleanse really early on from Patrick, and then they just run it home. No one even tasked Kazi. They got the soul, but it doesn't matter because they can just end the game. Yeah, they absolutely can. The control and the patience on that crowd control from Mad Lions. It will allow them to push into the Nexus. They will take the first turret. They will look for the second as Patrick and Advian try to hold back Mad. They will find themselves a kill into armor. The Nexus turret has fallen. The Nexus is being focused down. I don't think there's enough XL members to stop it. Mad Lions avenge their loss against XL. But I tell you what, that was a scary looking XL. It wasn't clean. You know why? Not because Mad didn't play well, because Excel showed up. Woo! Are you on the hype train? That was the question the analyst did.